Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Aotero. So in today's reading, we will be focusing on your overall energy. I will also be focusing on the person that is on your mind. We're going to see what's going on with them as well. Guys, please keep in mind that this reading is timeless, general love reading. So they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Also, keep in mind that this reading is for those who want to reconcile with an ex. So if you're not wanting to reconcile with an ex, then this is not your reading. I have plenty of other readings on my channel that may resonate for you, okay? Also, time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. There is no gender in tarot. Please reverse the roles as need be. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Or if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. So guys, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see what is going on with this person. What are their current energies towards my collective? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this person's current energies towards my collective, please? Past life. Past life connection, ex memories, you have had a connection with this person in the past. So I feel like this person is, is thinking about you right now, okay? Patiently waiting. They might be waiting for divine timing. Um, They're waiting for the right moment, the right time to come towards you. I feel that this person is in this place collective where they do want to come towards you because they're wanting a reunion and a reconciliation here. They're wanting to have some type of conversation with you. Um, They have a lot of fond memories about this relationship. Good and bad. There's a lot of memories here that you guys have been through of your fair share of um situations here, whether they were good or they were bad. And I feel that this person right now is in his or her energy. Just thinking about the past, especially right now, we're going through the holidays. So it tends to be a little bit of a harder time for the people that we're currently in separation with as for ourselves as well. So I just feel that this individual is pretty much in their feelings at this moment, wondering what you're doing, how you're doing, and just waiting for the right moment and the right time to come towards you. So we're going to go ahead and see what happened here in the past between you and this individual. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What happened in the recent past here for my collective and the person that is on their mind? First card that came out, the tower moment. I feel that there was a lot of misunderstandings between you and this person. Okay, may have very well had to do with money, finances. One of you guys were more financially stable than the other one. Okay, I just heard um, opposites attract. Okay, I don't know why it came to my mind that one mo movie, um, Made in Manhattan with Jennifer Lopez. Um, somebody in the relationship was in a a different financial situation where the other person could have been you know, a boss, a, a, a manager, a CEO, whatever their circumstances are. But somebody here had more than the other person. And there could have been a lot of problems, a lot of imbalance due to due to that situation here. Um, You also had a lot of people that were gossiping around you guys because the devil is here. There was a lot of people that did not want to see you guys happy, okay? Things were made very difficult. For some of you guys, there were friends or family members, especially somebody's mom here, who was opposing to this connection because they felt like their their child was too abundant to be with you or vice versa. It could have been your parent thought that you were too abundant to be with that person. So I do get a lot of meddling in this energy. People were, were getting into your guys' business, causing unnecessary ruckus, Causing you guys unnecessary problems here. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this person's current energies towards my collective? What are they wanting towards my collective at this moment? The Magician. This person is manifesting you, collective. They're dreaming about you. They're daydreaming about you, I just heard. This person wants to reconcile with you. Three of Cups energy. They want to celebrate with you. Um, for some of you guys, this person wants to invite you out to dinner. They want to spend some time with you. Um, they want to have a conversation with you, okay? Ten of Swords energy. They want to heal this painful situation that was caused in the past, okay? I just heard somebody's ex interfered in this. Okay, someone's ex interfered in this situation. Because you got the Two of Cups energy right here. Yep. So there was a lot of meddling here from someone from their past. And I feel that this person wants to apologize for that Six of Pentacles energy. 
because maybe their baby mama or their baby daddy was needing way too much attention or they were using the children as manipulation. If there's any kids in the situation, because I do have the empress here, um, whoever it is that they were dealing with could have been um, meddling in your connection. And now this person is wanting to come towards you and balance something out with you here. Okay, they want to work things out with you is what I heard. Okay, but they're patiently waiting for the right moment and the right time. They feel like it's, it's not the right time right now. You may still be angry. You may still be upset with them. You may not want to communicate with them. So this person is really taking their time. They're praying about it. They're manifesting you. They're manifesting the right time and the right moment to be able to come towards you. What actions does this person take, plan to take towards my collective in the near future? Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Six of Swords. Oh. So this person plans to come towards you with calmer waters here. Queen of Wands energy. And they're also going to be very persistent here. Okay. You may be dealing with the fire sign. But this person is wanting to have a passion and new beginning with you. And they're hoping and praying that you're not against this. Nine of Wands energy. That you're not guarded. They plan to bring justice to the situation. For some of you guys, this person plans to propose to you because they want to marry you right away. Okay. They feel like you guys have spent more than enough time apart and they just want to move forward in this connection. They're looking for a reunion. They're looking for a reconciliation. This person is in a place where they're not willing to miss an opportunity with you because they view the Ten of Cups with you. So right now, this person is holding back with the chariot in the reverse. But they're holding back because they're doing something. They're transforming. They're making changes. The necessary changes that need to be made in order for this connection to come back into a higher level of commitment. What will the outcome be in this situation for my collective and the person that is on their mind, universe, archangels, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians? The resolution to conflict, okay? Five of swords energy, empress energy, getting into a higher level of commitment, okay? I feel that for some of you guys, if there was another person involved in the connection, such as an ex or their children's mother or their children's father, this person is going to end up putting that individual in their place, okay? They will be communicating that they're going to move forward with wanting to be with you, um, that they're going to get into a higher level of commitment. This empress may not like that or emperor may not like that, but at the end of the day, it's not their decision. I feel that your person is possibly going through some type of legal matter right now in regards to this empress, maybe filed for divorce or finalizing a divorce or just finalizing child support um, proceedings, okay? But this person is bringing resolution to the conflict that they were dealing with with someone else because when they get ready to come towards you, they're going to be ready, willing, and available to right away get married and move forward here. Yeah, six of wands energy because this person wants victory and success. They have a plan to revive this connection with you. And I feel that there's not going to be anything or anyone that's going to be able to hold them back this time around. Okay, no ex, no mommy, no daddy, no whomever. There, no one is going to be able to interfere in this connection whatsoever. What is the outcome in this situation for my collective universe? Yep, five, look at the five of wands and the five of swords. So this person is really stuck in their head or very, they're going to be very adamant that they want to resolve whatever conflict they currently have with you. Okay, all the conflict, all the conflict that at one point was in this connection, this person is very adamant that they want to come in and resolve that. What are the final messages here for my collective universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides and guardians? What do they need to know regarding this connection? Love where you're at. Appreciate current circumstance. Ask yourself why you want what you want. See the beauty in it all. I feel that this person is in a place where they're starting to love themselves. They're starting to move towards a more abundant energy. They're just wanting to come in towards you because they also want to show you that they've changed and they're no longer going to want to hold back. What messages do we have here for my collective? Final messages, universe. What is this person wanting to say here? They're heartbroken. They're heartbroken without you. They're stuck on you. They can't stop thinking about you. They know that you have your defenses up. It haunts them every day what they did to you or how things happen between you and them. But their, and their overall energy here is to bring clarity because they know that this is a soul connection here. They're releasing what's no longer hold, serving them a purpose. So again, resolving situations that are just not serving a purpose anymore or them wanting to bring in some clarity they miss you okay they want to move towards you they're hoping and praying that you forgive them oh wow okay 
one-sided but it wanted to come out in the reverse so this is no longer a one-sided situation okay so if before you felt like you were battling for this relationship on your own no longer there is true love here okay signs and synchronicities for a lot of you guys you've been seeing a lot of repeating numbers me and my best friend have been seeing repeating numbers all freaking day like we're, we're literally blowing each other's mind so i feel that for a lot of you guys you're seeing a lot of repeating numbers a lot of synchronicities but that's universe letting you know that your person is on the mend and they're ready and they're they're getting ready to come towards you all right okay guys i hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed don't forget to like share and subscribe click that notification bell and if anyone is interested in a personal reading the information is in the description box below i'll talk to you guys soon take care bye